Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Taylor and welcome to my brand new channel. Here we focus on everything beauty, fashion and life related, so let's jump into it. Today I want to share some fashion tips with you on how you can incorporate classic glamour into your modern day wardrobe. I've got tons of great examples for you, so definitely stay with me. I get a lot of my beauty and fashion inspiration from classic eras, particularly the 1950s. I absolutely love this time in fashion. There is an ode to femininity, to grace and style and structure and detail that is second to none. So I try to incorporate these elements into my own style. All right, everybody, the first tip I have for you is the fit and flare dress. This style is so comfortable and it's still figure flattering and flirty and sexy and perfect for the spring and summer months. A fit and flare dress is adorable at every length mid-calf, at the knee, or above the knee. I've noticed that compliments are never in short supply when I wear a fit and flare dress, especially if it's got a fun pattern. This style dress isn't limited to daytime wear only. A fit and flare dress in solid black is perfect for a night out. When paired with a cute set of nude pumps and a smart clutch, you are ready for a dinner date with your honey. And the best part about this dress? It accentuates your midsection more than any other dress, so don't be surprised if your man can't keep his hands off that waist of yours. Try wearing a skinny patent leather belt to bring even more accentuation to your waist. My second tip for you is the structured form-fitting dress. If a fit and flare isn't your cup of tea, then you definitely can't go wrong with a structured form-fitting dress. The great thing about form-fitting dresses from the 50s is that they were usually made with a stiffer, higher quality material that was the perfect thickness to flatter your curves without accentuating any problem areas. Plenty of designers still make dresses like this today that are modernized and absolutely gorgeous. They can be a bit more expensive than your average dress, but are 100% worth the investment. Consider some extra help from Spanx or any other shapewear that can give you added support when you wear your killer dress. Tip number three, the blazer. Speaking of curves and structure, a fabulous blazer will hit you in all the right places. The amazing thing about blazers in the 50s is that they typically had a peplum style fit that accentuates the waist. And in my opinion, there's something especially flattering about a blazer with structured shoulders and a cinched waist. It gives that alluring hourglass shape while still looking classy and sophisticated. If you want a Lucille Ball moment, pair that blazer with a pencil skirt. And if that's just a little bit too much for you, then throw on some ripped jeans to give your look more of an edge. Tip number four, polka dots. I absolutely love polka dots. They are fabulous and flirty and super fun and you cannot go wrong with them. And I don't know if you can tell right now, but I am sporting some polka dots. When it comes to patterns, polka dots were huge in the 50s. And despite what you may think, they haven't gone out of style. Quite the contrary. If done tastefully, polka dots are one of the most feminine, chic patterns a woman can wear. Not to mention when you throw on anything with polka dots, whether it's bold trouser pants or a casual chiffon tank top and jeans, it automatically looks divine.
Accessories can be key to adding a bit of glamour to your style, so consider a vintage style handbag, pearl jewelry, or a hat. Incorporating a hat like the one you see in this picture can add flair. Now that summer is just about here, there's no reason not to sport a wide brimmed 1950s sun hat. This hat not only protects you from the sun, but it also brings sophistication to your ensemble. There are so many great vintage styles of hats to choose from. Pillbox hats to fascinator hats, the list goes on. And don't forget to invest in a silk or chiffon scarf. Women of the 50s wore them in several ways, including delicately tied around their necks and wrapped around their barrel curls. You can follow their inspiration or make your own rules with a silk scarf tied around a ponytail or loop to your purse strap. And last but certainly not least, the cat eye sunglasses can be the one accessory to take you from ordinary to chic without any work. Tip number five, red lips and a cat eye. If Miss Marilyn Monroe taught us anything, it is the power of the gorgeous red lip and the beautiful sexy cat eye. I wanted to share just a few of my favorite gorgeous 1950s icons who, as you can see, wore the red lip and the cat eye combination beautifully. And coming up, I found some current celebrities rocking the same combo. It's certainly a signature look, usually reserved for a dressier occasion, but you can pick a red lip or a winged eyeliner for a way to spice up an everyday outfit. Or what the heck, be bold and wear both. Why not? As you can see from this diverse montage of modern celebrities, the red lip and cat eye look can be achieved with any skin tone. All shades and hues can wear this iconic look, so I encourage you to give it a whirl. Think about your skin tone and eye color when choosing your lipstick colors. Bold brights look great against deep skin tones. Blue reds can make your teeth look whiter and orangey reds go great with a tan. Whatever you choose, wear it with confidence and have fun with it. I'd love to know what your favorite decade in fashion is. Let me know in the comment box below. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's jump into the basic cat eye tutorial. Side note, this is just an outline. A demonstration video might be easier to follow if you're more of a visual learner. Step number one, find the right angle. Take a business card and align the edge with the bottom corner of your upper lash line and make sure you're holding the card at an angle so the wing is going almost directly upward at least 45 degrees. Step number two, start lining. Using your eyeliner, draw a line along the edge of the card. The line should start as a continuation of your last lash, going up and out toward the outer edge of your eyebrow. Step number three, concentrate on inner and outer corners. Go back and line the rest of your top lash line to your inner corner, staying as close to the lash line as possible. Do the same for your bottom lash line, and then make sure you fill in the area between the top line and the bottom line at the outer corners with liner. Final step, now that we have the basic shape in place, based on your eye shape, build out the wing. Now moving on to our luscious red lip tutorial, a little caveat here, watching a video of somebody actually doing it may be more helpful, but if this helps you, great. Step number one, line the lips. Lightly apply concealer over the lips with a fluffy shadow brush, and this will make your lipstick shade look much brighter. And then follow your natural lip line with a lip pencil using light feathery strokes instead of long extended ones, and you'll have way more control this way. Step number two, partially fill in your lips using the same pencil. So before you reach for your lipstick, pull the liner towards the center of the mouth with the pencil, but don't fill it in all the way. Diffuse those harsh lines with a small brush, and this base will help avoid any feathering or smudging, and it'll also help your lipstick stay on longer. Final step, apply your lipstick. Go over your liner base with your desired tube of red, and the most important thing to remember is to push press and roll the lipstick on for the most gorgeous results. 
it is time for me to bid you adieu, but I hope you can see how absolutely timeless 1950s fashion really is and how easy it is to incorporate it into your own wardrobe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.